In this shopper.com review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this website. Shopper.com is a website that lets you manage your product promotions from one place and share your branded links to improve discoverability and conversations. Once you've logged in, you'll come over to this dashboard. Straight away, you can upload your own cover photo just by clicking the button here, and you also have the option to edit your profile. On edit your profile, there's the option to upload a profile picture, change your store title, store name, add a short description about your store, add up to free social media links, or make your account private. On the right hand side, there is four boxes. The first one saying promote a product. If we click on the arrow there, as we can see there, all we have to do is just add the product link. Once you've entered a link and click continue, we're brought over to this page where we can adjust the product name Select the monetization option from default, custom, or disable. And we can also add a custom product image. You do also have the option of just using the one that's brought over from the link. Below the monetization options is a box that says, have you tried this product? Where you can obviously share your views or expert tips. You do have the option as well to save to a new collection. So if you click onto there, you can add the name of your collection. Once you've saved the product, you do have the option of sharing it. Now you can share this across social media or you can just copy the link. We can see that this collection is now showing up in our dashboard. Now if we click onto the collection, we do have the option of adding a cover image. At the moment, our collection is on private, but of course you can make this public. You would do that obviously when you've added more products. There is also the option to add an affiliate disclaimer. If we click onto there, we can see it automatically gives us an affiliate disclaimer, but you can obviously type your own. That's the same with cookie policy, privacy policy, and terms of use. Back at the home screen, if we click on the add button just next to the search box, we have the option to obviously add a product, which we've already done, add another collection, or also add a coupon or a deal. So if we click on to coupon, so this is for submitting a coupon. You can see there it says you get paid every time someone uses your coupon code. So for example, Nike UK, add our custom code. Once we've entered a short description, if we just click next, you can upload a custom image, add any additional information and add an expiry date if needed. Once you're happy and you just click submit, we can see straight away it's created a coupon for us. We also have the option of creating a deal. So if we click onto there, you would just enter the link to your deal, click continue, and we can upload a deal image, add a deal title, a deal description, and again, an expiry date. Once we click submit on there, again, that's created a custom deal for us. On the home page, we can see, again, obviously our collection is there. So if we go over to deals next to products, we can see there we've got our custom deal for £25 off and our discount code as well. If we go back into our shoes collection, so we only have one product in our shoes collection at the moment. Obviously to add another one, we would just click on the plus and add another product link. But what we can do with our existing product is if we just hover over it, so we do have the option to click this star button and add it to our featured list. There is also the option to add a comment. If we click onto there, we could just add comment. And then of course, there's the option to share the product. If you have a wide selection of different products, you could obviously search for them in here, click on show all results, and it'll bring up all your products. On the right hand side, we can obviously filter it by products, deals, shops, and shoppers. Also, right at the very top, just next to the notifications button, if we hover over there, we can see we have a few different options. We have the option to switch store, my profile, settings, earnings, payments, upgrade, appearance, or logout. If we just go over to earnings, once you've started making sales, you'll be able to get the information for it over here. We can obviously filter it by last 30 days, today, a week, a month, or set a custom amount. It's got data for our clicks, our sales, our revenue, and then all time revenue. Just below earnings, we have payments. We just click on there. This is where it will display all your earnings. And once you've started making sales and earning money, you do have the option to withdraw this. It's also got payments in progress and the total amount paid. 
There's also the appearance section. If we just click onto there, this generates a preview of how our store would look. It shows what it would look like on a smartphone and also what it would look like on the web. You do have some options for customization here. So we have light or dark. So that's what it'll look like with the dark appearance. We can customize accent color. So at the moment that's orange. We can change it to pink, green, yellow, purple, or blue. Next to theme, we also have logo. Again, we can just add our custom logo. Once we go back to home, we can see that our store has been updated. So what do I think of shopper.com? I think it's a really great website to share your branded links and manage your product promotions. It was super easy to use and I had no problems at all navigating around. They made it really simple to add product links and make discounts and coupons. I also really like the customization options for the store. It would be cool for maybe a few more options to be added to this. Maybe you could customize the layout or something like that. Overall, I think it's a fantastic website and I would definitely recommend. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.